Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux in Qtile. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in the terminal. So what I'm going to do is open up a terminal. So I have a program in here called BC. And if you used my apps, that is when you did installation, if you used my auto app and installed all the apps that I install, then you'll have this in here. If not, you're going to have to install it. So once it's installed, you type in BC and let's try it. Nine times nine equals 81. 100 divided by 25 equals four. Now to get out of there, you're going to do QI quit. And now we're out. And another program I have for doing math in the terminal is called Calc. And if you installed my programs, my auto app programs, during your installation, you'll have it installed. Otherwise, you'll have to go into the terminal and install it from the Arch repository. And it's Q-A-L-K-C, sorry, Q-A-L-C to start it. And let's try it. Five times five equals 25. Let's try 100 divided by 25 equals 4. And actually, I like this calc better than uh, the BC one because uh, it shows your transactions. So that's how that works. And again, QUIT is to quit. And you're back there. Another thing I have here is I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so it shows properly is weather type in the word weather and there's the weather for toronto can i make this a bit larger or is it going to go off screen okay it goes off screen so now the thing is, is that i have an alias called weather so i'm going to go into my zesh file so if you're using my zesh file all you got to do is type in weather. If not, then you're going to have to do this. So line 259, you can see I have an alias called weather, but their actual command is curl WTTR period in. So let's try that. Let's go to another workspace. Let's open up the terminal. I'm just going to make it a little small. Oops. A little smaller so it fits better and curl wttr period n and there you go there's the weather you can see it's plus 12 degrees and i have the forecast for three days so i'm going to close that so i have the command last let's type in that so this is going to show that I did my installation of this virtual machine on April the 8th. And this is going to show all the reboots. Now, of course, if you did your installation six months ago or a year ago, this list is going to be long. But it always goes down to the very beginning of the list, as you can see here. Now, in my Zetch RC file, I have an alias called last reboot so line 277 my alias is last reboot and the command is set last reboot no oh, yeah i can't do that so the command is set line 277 it's last reboot space dash 10. so when i type in this alias it's going to show last 10 boots so let's go to another workspace let's do this is my alias and there it goes it shows all the last times i rebooted it's nice it's clean it's easy to look at now Let's see if I can remember. 
the actual command. It's last space reboot minus 10. Let's go to workspace five. Last. This is the actual command without the alias. Reboot minus 10. Now you could do that. Minus five. Or you could do that. Let's do the last two reboots. There you go. There's the last two reboots. They were today. So in my uh, Zesh RC file, I have two aliases here oop, that I want to look at. I have last update, which is going to show the last update I did. And this is the command. Well, the alias is last update. So all I have to do is type in last update. But the actual command it starts with the grep and it goes all the way to line two. So it's a really long command and there's no way you're going to remember it and there's no way you're going to want to type it in when you use it. So you have to have an alias. So that's going to show the last update. And if we jump down to this line, line 287, my alias is all updates. And that's just going to show all the updates since I uh, built the system. And of course, that's a much easier command, although I don't know if you'd be able to remember that. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to workspace five. Let's type in all updates. And there you go. It's going to show all the updates starting from today and going up to when I first uh, built it, this virtual machine. Now, of course, uh, like I said, I built this virtual machine on April the 8th. So and I haven't been in it much, so there's not a lot. Right? There's only, I think, three days where I actually did updates. Um, I did one update later on in, in, during the day after I built the system on April 8th. I did again on April 15th, and it uploaded all these programs or updated all these programs down to here. Down to this line here. April 15th. Updated all those programs. So that was April 15th. And then I didn't update it again until today. So the next time I did my update after April 15th was today, earlier today, starting right here on May the 14th, which is today at 9.29 in the morning. And it updated all these apps. It was 187 updates, I think, something like that. So that is all updates. Oops, did that wrong. So that is all updates. Now let's let's just close this terminal. So I'm going to open it. Last update. So if we go to the top, you can see the first one. These are just all the updates I did today. So. May 14th at 9.29 a.m. So that was just a short video to show you a few things in the terminal. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mensch.